Hello YouTube, hope you are all well. It's a splendid Monday morning here in the Hull household and we're just about to get stuck into a uh, little leg session. Uh, we're with Mr. Patrick Gale, how are you doing Patrick? Fantastic, as always. Fantastic, that's what I like to hear. We've got a new Team Beast member who's full time now, so let me introduce to you the newest Team Beast member, Josh Middleton. Right, meet Josh. How you doing, Mal? You okay? Right, yeah, good. Good man. So Josh, uh, he's been helping with my sparring a lot recently. Um, six foot ten and a half. Yeah. He's about eighteen stone in body weight, so he's a big lad. I've uh, been boxing since you were fourteen. Yeah. And you've had a couple of fights. You've won everything. You've put your hand to thus far. Yeah. So predominantly, you are a you're a right-handed boxer, yeah. so you're, you're a normal, normal stance boxer, but you can, you've been helping me fight southpaw so you can switch, which is a hell of a skill, being able to switch. Josh told me his aspirations of wanting to become, you know, the top top in the world, basically. You know, and for a 19-year-old, that's a big goal to have. Uh, but he, he, he tells me in confidence, but I'm just going to go out there and say it for him. You know, I, I think, I genuinely believe, with those genetics and with, with a lot of willpower and a lot of a lot of nurture, you can go on to be the world champion. So, like I did when I was a young, young pup, I was actually 26 when I met Mo Chowdhury, my, my ex-manager now, but he, I met Mo when I was 26 and he, he shook my hand and said, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take charge of your sort of finances. I mean, I'll put, make sure your mortgage is paid, make sure you've got food on the table. You go off and win the world's strongest man, and that for someone to do that for me was such a kind thing. And it, that, that's when my, my life transformed. That's when I went from being an amateur to a pro. I quit my job. I sold my door business, and off I went on this journey to become the world's strongest man. And I did it two and a half years later. I won the world's strongest man from the kindness of one man. So I'm a big believer in pay it forward. So that is now being paid forward. I've offered Josh a full time wage. He quit his job on Friday, didn't you, mate? Said goodbye to his, uh, his old boss and workplace, which is uh, a great thing. It means he can progress, it means he can come train with me, build his body up, and then he can go and train his boxing with his boxing coach and, and build that up as well. The important thing is we're going full time, it's having the time just to sit on your arse. If I'm being honest, that's what you need to do as an athlete in between the running, the weights, the boxing, the, you know, the, the, the feeding, the stretching, the physio. There's so much involved and being a pro athlete. When I was uh, training for the world's strongest man, I was spending over 800 pounds a week, a thousand dollars a week on my body. You know, 300, 300 pounds a week on food, 250 to 300 pound a week on recovery methods, um, and then another 200 quid on other re recovery methods, basically. I, I was spending 800 quid a week on, on building my body up. So, you know what, I'm, I'm paying Josh a good wage, but not quite enough to sort of spend that kind of money on his body but I want to get him there you know I've already got two sponsors uh, that got behind Josh uh, one of them Alpha Designs uh, and the other one was still in negotiation but they're, they're coming on board so they'll be announced soon but Alpha Designs have offered him a, a little bit of a package and that is to top him up that's so he can go out and do his own physio do you know go go to the go to the spas and the gyms and go and do his hot cold treatments and everything else so if anyone out there wants to sponsor Josh yeah, you're more than welcome to hit me up on the contact form on my website and uh, someone will pick it up and put you in the right direction. But uh, meet Josh, he's now full time with boys. We're going to hit him through the weights today, put him through his very first leg session. Um, he actually carries a lot of weight in your legs. So have a get your quads, mate. Come on, show us. Show us. Come on, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so look, Josh actually got quite a big power. You play a lot of football by chance. Yeah, he's, uh, there we go. That's that's it then. So he's also got a big, powerful legs, which is, you know, you're eight, you've got big, strong legs. That's eighty percent of the problem in boxing. 
So uh, we're going to carry on building Josh's body up and getting getting in top form. Really, I'm going to I'm going to make sure I do my job with the weights. He's going to help me out with my boxing, and then obviously he can go off and do his own thing with his coach and build him up in the boxing world. But uh, exciting times! The newest Team Beast member, Josh. So let's get stuck into a leg session. So we'll do step ups. Do step ups first. This is just to activate the legs to get the glutes, the quads, calves, get everything activated. One thing you're not allowed to do, Josh, is burp and fart as much as they do. It's not allowed. I can't have I can't have three people <laughs> do that. Sounds like a party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god. If we did that outside, he'd hit his head on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Because they cut a Josh shaped hole out of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this Right, we've just done some step ups to uh, get everything activated and warmed up. We're going to start with good mornings. So nice straight legs, nice straight back, nice controlled on the way down and then trying to get a bit of bit of oomph on the way up, trying to get those fast twitch fibres going. And again, anything we do in here has all been fought out to transfer into the boxing ring. So this is, you know, obviously with boxers, you're very sort of, when you're ducking and diving, you're doing a good morning. So um, <clears throat> we're going to build some explosive power with the safety bar and do, do some good mornings. Probably going to get to over 100 kilo at most. Uh, three sets, four sets of 10, plenty. Mm -hmm. So I like to face plant the floor almost. So watch me. So you just want to literally just get your face as close to the floor without bending your legs as much. So, back so, straight. so your legs, you're doing this at the minute. Yeah. So keep your legs fixed and do that without bending your legs anymore. Everything's symmetrical, so if it, then you were like that, yeah. that's dangerous because you pull one side or the other. Keep everything symmetrical. Always remember, like, I always find with squatting and stuff like that, chest out, ass out, yeah. just teaches you that form. But like, those are the three things to remember. <laughs> Handles, just thinking there whilst I was doing it, like pull the handles back to take the weight off your back a little bit. I think that's why you're yeah, curling. It's curling you up a bit more. Use the handles to sort of keep the weight off your neck. Right, we're gonna do some squats now. Um, <clears throat> nothing too strenuous today, just work through the motions. Three or four sets, five to six reps, maybe eight reps on some of them, um, and then we'll get onto the hypers. So, nothing too strenuous. Again, we're sort of just, this is like jo Josh's initiation session. So, uh, I don't know, have we got an initiation into Team Beast? You know, like, you know, like karate, when they get initiated into karate, you have to take the belts yeah, off yeah. and slap them across the back as they walk through the door. <laughs> I don't think we can film that one on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Josh, if Josh has to do it, then Hannah has to do it. No, I've done mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, machines are great. They just don't teach you the core muscle groups, which is what boxing is. You know, at the end of the day, when you're in the boxing ring, you haven't got, you know, you haven't got a straight line. Everything's 
all stupid angles, isn't it? Which is what yeah. this is great for, because it's teaching your body to not only squat up and down, but you're also stopping it from going forward, from going backward, from going right to left. And that's where you build your core muscles up. And that's with boxing, it's all core. You know, you're moving everything core. So this is foundation for boxing squats all. halfway through the training session. I always have to have a good hit of protein. Two scoops of the way I slip from my protein is absolutely perfect. About 45 to 50 gram of protein, roughly. Hit and miss whether I mix it with water or all the lacto free. But uh, today, feeling good. So, I mix it with water. And uh, this is something I'll be getting Josh on as well, getting his diet on point eating at the right times, getting those protein hits in at the right times. I suppose, it, I suppose a bit of a stigma, whereas everyone's like, you know, you've got to have protein within an hour of your workout. Completely right, yes you do. But I'm a big believer in, you've got, I mean, I've had my protein for my breakfast, I've had my salmon, I've had my eggs, I've had my rice krispies for my carb fuel. You know, that was, that was coming up to two hours ago now, I ate that, so, I have a protein shake, you know, my body's probably craving a lot of protein, so which it will be, I'm working out. So, have a good hit of protein, and then after your training session, with that hour window that everyone keeps on about, again, get another hit of protein, there's no wrong with getting two hits of protein in. But I'll say, the, the protein powder, it's already sort of broken down, it gets into your system easy, so it's gonna be into your muscles quite easy, uh, and then after you work out, have food, you know, so I'll be having a good dose of chicken, chicken, rice and veg after this. Uh, and that, you know, it's a good little bit of hit of protein. This is a supplement, this is a supplement. That key word there, supplement to food. So treat it as such. I've supplemented it, you know, throughout meals, in between my meals throughout the day. Super important. Oh. Right, we've just done the hypers, three sets of 10 each. We'll get on two abs and biceps now. They're nice and easy, three sets of 10 on the ab wheel and then three sets of 30 on the bicep curls. Super set the two. Uh, and I think that'll do us for today. Nice steady session. And obviously uh, we've got the initiation for Josh to come. So uh, let's have a laugh there. I want you to, as soon as it gets past your leg, I want you to twist it outwards, yeah? Up to the chest. Yeah, back down the straight. Ugh. <sighs> 
Right, that's the training done. We've done two hours, 10 minutes of weights. First weight session, Josh. How do you, how'd you cope with that, mate? Painful. <laughs> Charlie. Everything. Yeah. You get used to it, mate. It's like your first proper sort of gym session you've ever done. Yeah. yeah. So you've done, you've done, obviously you've done, must have done some yeah. conditioning in the past, but this yeah. is a different kettle of fish. This, this is like, this is specifically building the muscles. This isn't like fast twitch sort of stuff, is it? Um, right, initiation time. So, welcome to Team Beast, Josh. A little bit of initiation. You have to do it to be part of the team, mate. So, uh, take trials off. Yeah, <laughs> get naked. Lovely. <laughs> so, for those new to the channel, this is a. Uh, What's it called? Therapy chamber. Cracker therapy chamber. I knew that. <laughs> it is um, basically liquid nitrogen that is made into a gas form and it's sort of sprayed into this chamber that I'm stood in now and it surrounds you with uh, nitrogen, which is one of the coldest substances on the planet. So if you ever seen the Terminator 2 when the uh, the liquid man turns into ice and then he puts a bullet through and it explodes into little ice pieces. That is what liquid nitrogen is and this is what, what's in the tanks here now. So it freezes you, well it puts you in an environment of minus 140 degrees centigrade and what that does is freeze your body, gets your core temperature down, gets your muscles sort of three or four inches deep, really really cold, squeezes all the lactic out from the session we've just done, squeezes all that blood out and then the theory is the warming up process puts fresh blood back in, fresh nutrients, fresh proteins, and you recover quicker. Also, obviously I'll have my lunch and I'll go to bed after this to get an hour's kipping before my boxing tonight. And that warming up process makes you sleepy. So it's perfect for after your lunch, obviously you're digesting your food, you're warming up, climb in bed, have a bit of a nap, and then you wake up. It's like a whole new day, and then you're ready for your boxing. Jesus Christ. What's the temperature, Pat? Um, but it is painful. I'm not going to say it's an easy thing to do. It's it's hard. It's something that I do on a daily basis. It's something that's become a part of my regime. Uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to be able to afford one of these machines in my house, um, so I don't have to travel everywhere. I don't have to spend an hour traveling somewhere, getting it done, traveling back. Uh, and this is a ne necessity to me. It's something that something in my head I couldn't do without so you know if I didn't have this machine then I've got an excuse and I'm not a man that likes to put excuses on the table I'm like I'm a man that likes to put results on the table so here we are so uh, once I've done mine the chamber will be nice and cold for Josh to jump in and do his uh, initiation 90 degrees Woo! Whoa. Freeze friends. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Get your head through that hole. Try and st stand either side, either, either side the fan facing outwards. <laughs> if you can, try and stick down a little bit just so it gets more of your body. That's got to the ceiling. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> okay, <laughs> people told them. Right, let's uh, go. Right, three minutes, Josh. If anything hurts, like as in burning, cover it like your fingers. So if your fingers start burning, cover them up. Yeah. Ah. They say stand like that. And if your thumbs start burning, cover your thumb. So keep rotating them. If anything burning on your body, rub it. Yeah, so if your stomach starts burning, give it a rub. He's not even reacting. Oh, yeah. This is sweet, this isn't anything, anything hurting? Anything burning? Does it just feel cold? I it feel no cold. pain. It's like the agony. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've, got a, we've got a reaction. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Deep breaths. All done. Right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Anything froze? Yeah. Dick still intact? Yeah. 
Mm. <laughs> that was a very yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> Right, have a feel of yourself. When you're at, like your belly, your belly should feel freezing. Yeah. And your leg, like top of your thighs, top of the legs. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Just on a leg workout. So, obviously, squeezing that blood out your legs. Now, when you warm up, get fresh, fresh blood back in. That helps you sort of recover a lot, lot quicker. Yeah. Right. Well. Mr. Josh Middleton's done his initiation, <laughs> so welcome to Team Beats, man. Uh, thank you. And uh, first session down, so we're gonna, I mean, look at him, he's 18 stone, six foot ten and a half. Um, 19 years of age, you got to remember that, guys, 19 years of age, but don't let it deceive you, I've boxed with the lad. You know, Mike Tyson was heavyweight world champion at 19. So, uh, but we're just gonna get a bit, of beef, a bit of beef on him. And obviously he does his boxing stuff with his coach, but, uh, some good potential here so I'm, I'm excited to see how far josh can go and obviously he is going to push me in my boxing training as well because he's a good a good replication of what four is he's basically uh a 40 kilo lighter version of four which but, is good for me yeah that can actually box that can actually box but the speed of this lad is teaching me so much of getting in and out getting under those hoops and, and then smashing in so uh very thankful to have you on board josh i'm helping you out but you're helping me out just as much mate so thank, thank you, you. Right, awesome. Right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Big love the beast. Take care.